What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. In this video I'm going to be telling you guys the five best pubs to visit in Guildford. This is a matter of my own opinion so if you have a favourite pub let me know in the comments. Um, before we start I just want to say if you're new to the channel there is a fireworks going off because it is bonfire night. Before we start I just want to say my name is William Harvey and I've been living in Guildford for the vast majority of my life so I like to think I have a decent knowledge of the best pubs to visit. If you could do me a massive, massive favour and please, please hit that subscribe button and that like button. It really, really does help my channel because I really want to make more videos like this and I need your help and that's pretty much it. A car is coming so I have to end this now. Let's get into the video. Now in fifth place on this list is the Star Inn. Now I have a personal attachment to this place because this pub was the very first pub that I went to and bought my first beer when I turned 18. It's not the biggest pub in the world, but it is very, very cute. It's very homey, uh, cozy, it's very warm. Um, the drinks here are absolutely delicious. The floor is not actually that level, but as long as you don't get too drunk, you shouldn't have a problem. Now the outside is by far the best part of the pub. I mean, I love the lights and the colors. It just looks absolutely amazing. Now there's one secret part of this pub that you probably don't know, and they have this stage at the back. It's usually ACM students playing music, but they have uh, open mic nights and stuff. So I definitely check it out. Next on this list is the Wooden Bridge. Now this is more for the older generations and families, uh, which is why I like it so much because I'm here every Sunday to get the Sunday brunch with my family. Um, that's my dad right there. Usually this place is a lot more packed, but for obvious reasons it isn't. If you are a sports fan, they have these massive TVs and they always have the sports channels on. They have multiple channels with different sports on. So if you're a sporty person, like to watch football and stuff like that, then this is the place that you want to be. They have pool and darts, but you're not allowed to use them at the moment just because of the coronavirus and it's not safe. But I have to give this pub an extra point because they allow dogs in this pub. And look at my dog, that's my dog there, Lola. Isn't she absolutely adorable? The food here is good, which is the reason that I keep coming back. So It's not the best bread? food in the world, but the, for the price, you can't complain. I highly, highly recommend the mac and cheese. I only, I didn't get it this time just because I get it all the time. Okay, so next on this list in uh, I believe this is third place yes yes it is third place is the Stoke and I love this pub it's also very cozy inside they sell homemade pizzas which is great the drinks here are really nice um, this is where they cook the pizzas and you can see it getting cooked and it's really really cool they have these like game tables in the back that you can use I don't know what this game is because I haven't actually played it but they have a pool table they have darts so if you want a night out with the boys this is the place to come now there's a hidden part to this pub that you might have not heard of if you have been here before and that is the dance classes out back and they do salsa and bachata and I am there every Thursday but obviously it's not on at the moment because of the coronavirus but when it opens I highly recommend it it's a great place to meet people Now in second place is the King's Head and this pub is so beautiful at night. The outside is amazing, they have these outside heaters and lights but unfortunately I can't get any footage because I wasn't actually allowed permission so you're going to have to trust me on this one um, that this, this pub, oh you have to check it out. So I got these pictures from the website but just trust me on this just imagine this outside bit with lots of lights lots of heaters the only reason this isn't high on the list because it is quite busy all the time and sometimes i like to just have a chill time do you know what i mean okay here we go so my top favorite pub in guildford is the britannia and there is nothing about this pub that i do not like 
One, the staff are so nice. Even the bouncers are really nice. And sometimes I've had my issues with bouncers at other bars, but the sp every everyone here is really nice. And I, I might be going crazy, but I swear down that the drinks here just taste so much better and they allow dogs as well which is so cool this they uh, if you ask for treats they will the staff will just give you treats for your dog for free and I think that's so nice this pub welcomes all ages but the outside is where the magic happens I mean look how amazing it is it's so clean and it looks it just looks great no matter what the weather this will be your go-to place I highly recommend it the trinkets make it feel like I've stepped back in time into the 80s and the heaters are just a fine addition to the outside and it's just, it's really clean as well so I cannot recommend this pub enough and the food here oh I forgot the food is also amazing so definitely check it out guys okay guys thank you so much for making it this far into the video I really do appreciate it uh, now I want to make more videos like this about Guildford the next video I was thinking about doing was like something like top romantic places in Guildford but in order to do that I really need your support I really need you to hit that subscribe button and that like button and leave me a nice comment tell me what you thought tell me what your favorite pub is and it will be much appreciated so thank you very much guys for watching this video again and I'll see you guys in the next video